Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I'm sitting in front of my tree again, looking at the snow falling. It just feels like the most magical day ever. And I'm really excited because today I thought we could go through my winter empties. I love doing this twice a year. I do it in the summer and in the winter, and it's just a fun way to reflect on the products that I've used. I'm such a nerd that I love <laughs> doing this, I guess, but I know that you guys love it as well, so I'm always happy to collect my trash and share it with you. So let's dive right into it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and I'll get started. So I have this massive Amazon box because I used to just like store my empties in little bags and then it would just get super overwhelming. So at some point this year, I had a great <laughs> idea to save my big Amazon package and throw everything in here. I'm really excited. Like I said, the last time I did an empties video was in June. So we have things in here from the summer. We have some winter things that I just finished up and I'm just gonna dive right in. So a huge favorite of mine is the Dr. Teal's foaming bath. Um, little bubbles and this is the calm and serenity rose essential oil flavor my mom gave this to me and i absolutely love it there's not too much to say about all of my dr teals in here um i just absolutely love them so there's another one here which is the lavender which is the one i opt for the most so if i had to pick i think it would be the lavender but these are my favorite bath bubbles. Um, they're just so affordable. You get a big old pack and they like just bubble up so nicely. I am obsessed with them. Another thing to go along um, with that same rose oil bubble is the um, Epsom salt. So it's in the same um, flavor. This one was nice because it was like a milky, I'm blanking, give me a second. It was like a milky consistency where sometimes I feel like, oh wait, was this milky? Something was milky. I think both of these, they say that it's made with milk protein. I don't know if that means something, but I just felt like it made my bath kind of milky. That's the only way I know how to explain it. Whereas um, just the lavender bath salts and bubbles don't really do that. So this was a nice experience and yeah, I'll for sure, um, be buying this again I always have these on hand so absolutely love that I'm gonna try to pair things up so that it's not so one thing after another of the same thing um because I am a creature of habit and you guys will see that so I have two bottles of the Batiste dry shampoo in the beautiful brunette um I love this dry shampoo I think it's very good for being a very affordable um dry shampoo at the drugstore. I love using lots of different kinds, but this one's nice just to always have in the back of my cabinet. I actually have one in my bathroom right now. I wouldn't say, actually, I guess I have it in today, so I don't have too much of a white spot. Maybe you guys can tell me, but I feel like the initial spray is still very white, um, even though it is made for brunettes, but once I like work it in, I don't feel like I have anything to be like nervous about. So that's what I really like. Um, but yeah, it's still very white when I first spray it and it like alarmed me at first, but it does go away pretty quickly. You just kind of have to rub your fingers through it. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. I have another favorite of mine, which is the Dr. Teal's body lotion. I love their body lotion. This is in the scent coconut oil. And it's funny, my mom actually came over and used this once and she said it smells like medicine, which is just so funny. I'm just not getting that, but um, just a sign of caution maybe. I know coconut is a very like, not everybody loves that smell. I think you can do it really well, like the bum bum cream, or you can do it really bad, like something, I don't know. I don't know what that would be, but I feel like this is a great middle. Um, I think the bum bum cream definitely smells way better and way like tropical, but this is like a nice even coconut, I would say. Um, but you'll have to smell it for yourself. Everyone's different, but I really love it. And again, it's a nice like big bottle. I love having this I love having some sort of body lotion around right now we're using kind of a heavy-duty one this one's pretty good for the summer okay I have two Kristen s products but they're different this one is the brunette dry shampoo and this is the soft shine beach wave spray um, just to talk about the dry shampoo I think it's great it's nothing like too spectacular it doesn't blow me away um, it's kind of the same thing it doesn't have that much of a white cast I think the other one um, on the first initial spray has a little bit more white than this does, which is really nice. But again, keeps my hair really nice on those days where I haven't washed it, but it, I just don't think it like blows any other out of the water. Um, but I love it. I love Kristen S. All of her products are just amazing. And then the beach wave spray. Um, this is nice because it's like, 
what is this? <laughs> oh, it's kind of like a texturizing spray, I'm pretty sure. So it just gives like a nice little separation and shine. So some nice texture, nice movement into your curls. I really love, I don't think I loved it enough to repurchase it. I, I know it's not in here in my bathroom and I don't see another bottle of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm still always, I don't know. I think texture sprays and stuff like that are always really fun to try new things. So I wanted to try this out, but I don't think this amazed me completely. So I have a few bottles of the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. I have um, two empties of conditioner because that always happens for me, I think. I always run through my conditioner, which I guess I still have a bit, but um, this one was in the... Sh in the flavor peach which i thought that i would love during the summer and the first little bits i did and then i got way over it way too quickly so i definitely would recommend function of beauty but um <laughs> i would just go with like a nice baseline um scent i've tried a couple now where i feel like as i get super adventurous i get over it really fast and i just love having a nice signature scent that's what i love about the kristen s um, shampoo and conditioner so I loved the formulation I think it was really nice on my hair I've had a bit of a hair growth which I've been using just this for the last few months um, all through the summer and up until like October so I feel like I saw great results with this but um, I just needed a little bit of a break and then this one was the eucalyptus scent which I love I still have the shampoo left over that I'm working on but I did cancel my subscription just because that same reason I just wanted a little bit of a break but they are really great I'll leave them down below you can totally customize your shampoo for your hair it's just really great um, I have two bottles of the Dove dry spray go fresh in the cool cucumber little scent I love this stuff I always have like four or five on hand I don't know why but I always see them on sale so I always stock up because I never want to change from this it works so well I've never really used the spray before but it's nice heavy-duty it dries really quickly it doesn't have like any white clumps like it doesn't clump up at all it's just the perfect formulation and it smells really nice and clean and for a deodorant I think it's so important to find one that you love and I love this one okay this next category is actually making me laugh because so many bottles I have five bottles of Naturium products and I absolutely love Naturium so we'll start with the two similar ones I have two bottles of the vitamin C serum 22% absolutely absolutely love vitamin c and this is probably one of my favorite ones this one's really nice because it's not just like straight vitamin c you have hyaluronic acid and vitamin e so it's kind of like a nice little cocktail and it just really helps with my skin i love incorporating vitamin c into my skincare routine for antioxidants for brightening my skin i just think it's really really nice so naturium is an amazing price point and i just really love all of her products they've worked really well for me you guys know i've talked about them before in the past so I have a couple bottles of that. I have one bottle of the plant squalene face oil, which I do love this. I feel like everyone loves squalene because it's like, I'm trying to think of what, it just is for um, moisturized skin, hydration, and healthier looking complexion, um, which I haven't repurchased, sorry. <laughs> I haven't repurchased um, another bottle of this because I didn't feel like it did a lot for me. I love a face oil, so I think in the summer um, I'll go back to it. I probably should use a face oil in the winter when I'm dry, but for some reason I just loved how like dewy and like supple it made my skin look, which I will say that was nice, but I don't think it like wowed me super much. I don't know. I don't know if I need to just try more. Maybe I didn't give it enough time, but um, I found it to be nice, nothing too exciting. I have the retinol serum 2.5%. Retinol is really good for like evening out your skin tone, fine lines and wrinkles, I think like something else, elasticity, and just overall radiance, which I don't think this helped me <laughs> with that. I'll talk about another product that I think helped a lot more. Um, but yeah, I know a lot, a lot of people love and swear by retinol. I just don't know if this one was for me. I didn't see a huge difference. The thing that I saw the most improvement of my skin is the Naturium. I always say this wrong, but the Azelaic Topical Acid 10% with niacinamide and vitamin c this has made my skin so radiant so clear i feel like it's just brightened everything up and has done a better job at doing what those last two serums say they're gonna do but i don't really see a difference i repurchased this already um so i have one in my bathroom so i'm, I'm on my second bottle and i've seen the best 
results with it. I love it so much. So I think I'm going to stick with this because I've just been seeing really great results with it as far as like my scarring goes and like redness and so I don't really have scarring but like marks. I'll say marks. Um, with my marks go and redness and all of that. So I love this. I will say Naturium is probably my favorite brand that I discovered in 2020. Okay, so I have one bottle of the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. I love these little ones. I just now... Oh, I have some more left. This always happens to me. I have a big one of these in my bathroom right now. So I love this. I've used it for years. And it's just like... I don't know. I know it's like a very... Um, atmospheric not atmosphere but it's just it's just like a vibe okay it's just a vibe to have a facial spray and I live for it I have one bottle of the heritage store rose water facial toner I used to swear and love this stuff and I guess I just could like figured out that I could live without it to be honest um I don't really use like facial toners anymore I'm telling you this as laic uh serum has just made everything so much better for me and my skincare is very simplified um not that this is bad this is really great has great um ingredients doesn't use alcohol or anything like that so i do love that but i guess i just kind of moved on from it um so not much else to say i used to love it but i haven't repurchased it this is the formula 1006 best face forward daily foaming cleanser with passion fruit and green tea i don't remember this being bad but i don't remember it being anything too too exciting and obviously I haven't repurchased it so I'm gonna go ahead and say that probably wouldn't repurchase this again I've tried a toner from them that I thought I was gonna love and didn't like I just have not had the best luck with this brand I know everyone loves their face masks and I have not had great luck with face masks from them so they're just not my favorite brand anymore I really wanted to love them but it just was not it for me I have one bottle of the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum I loved this stuff really nice really hydrating great price point everybody loves the ordinary I'm someone who loves them too I feel like I can't try anything else because everything that I want to try is always out of stock and I don't know when like I don't know if I just miss out but I don't know I feel like it's just always out of stock and I can never get my hands on it but um, this was really nice I think I haven't repurchased this because I have other products that have hyaluronic acid in them so I can kind of do without it but again I do love this in the summer because I just love anything hydrating and just that's gonna to make my skin very supple you know I have two empty samples of the bum bum cream Brazilian bum bum cream and the coco cabana cream absolutely love these I got these at Sephora the cute little worker gave them to me for free and I remember absolutely loving them yeah but I will say both out of both of these the original one is my favorite this one is like kind of like has a hint of vanilla almost it's a little bit sweeter where this is like very that like musky tropical i don't know how to describe it but it's just so warm and tropical so this is my absolute favorite and i cannot wait to repurchase this in the summer love it there's nothing else to say so i have one bottle of the first aid beauty ultra repair ultra repair cream i got this for sebastian and he kind of stopped using it so then i used it it's really great it's a perfect kind of baseline moisturizer nothing in there that really kind of messed with my skin um not too thick yeah just like a perfect middle um which is great i would definitely repurchase again i haven't just because i have other ones that i wanted to try um i hate when i feel like moisturizers are like boring this one's boring but it's simple and really good um so yeah i loved it I have a bottle of the Ulta Beauty Bronze Glow Self Tanning in Ultra Dark. This was my favorite self tanner this year. My friend actually turned me on to this and I cannot go back. It's my favorite one. I have bottles of it in my bathroom right now. I have face drops that I love from there. The Ulta Beauty one is just really good. I think it's a perfect dupe for the, um, oh my gosh, Loving Tan. Everyone loves that one. I love that one. Um, it can get, be like more expensive. Um, so this one is perfect. It's a great price point and I just loved the finish and the glow on it perfect i have three moisturizers i can chat about this first one is a new empty for me this is the l'oreal paris hydra genius moisturizer and my sister actually told me about this and i did really love it it's a great lightweight concealer so it's perfect for the daytime i actually do want to go pick it up again because i just loved the way that it felt on my skin very light and perfect yeah for the days where you wear makeup perfect for the days that you don't it does have a little bit of like a scent which always makes me nervous because it's like 
It definitely doesn't smell like a natural scent, which I know some people don't like that, so I would just be careful about that. Um, but other than that, I really loved it. Um, this next one used to be such a huge favorite for me, and then I kind of fell off of it again, but this is the Cosrx or Cause RX, I don't know, Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream. I love this, this is a Korean skincare brand, and I loved this. This was like so, it was kind of like a step up from this moisturizer because it's still that very like nice and light moisturizer, but nothing too heavy. So perfect for the daytime, perfect for the summer. And I just felt like it was very hydrating, but then I just went on to different things, I guess. Switching now to a great um, nighttime moisturizer is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. This stuff is so good. This stuff is so luxurious. It's the perfect thickness for nighttime. You feel like you're just adding this layer of moisture onto you, but then it like seeps into your skin. And I have really just been enjoying trying Laneige's Whoa, that's hard. Trying products from Laneige. They have a lot of really amazing things. I did use a cleanser, which I didn't love for them from them, but I also have a um, sleeping mask that I absolutely love. So huge favorite, and I would definitely repurchase again. I have a Super Goop Unseen SPF um, 40, and this I remember not liking because it was a like silicone kind of texture. It's not very like dewy. I know they have a very pretty dewy one, which my sister would totally recommend to everyone. So I would look out for that one. This one was the unseen one, so it's kind of like, all of them don't have a white cast, which is great for an SPF, um, and they're a really great brand, but this specific texture was just super weird for me, and I did not like it on my skin at all. I have one bottle of the Kristen S. Weightless Shine Working Serum. This is my favorite hair oil. I love it so much. I love the smell of it. That's probably my favorite part. I feel like hair oil is just nice for your ends and to make your hair shiny and blah, blah, blah. Um, but honestly, I use it as like a little hair perfume. I just adore this stuff. So I always have that on hand because it's one of my favorites. This might be the first time I've ever had like a perfume, but this is the Daisy Love Marc Jacobs perfume and I love this. I love just the Daisy perfume and the Daisy Love. Sebastian actually got this for me as a gift one year and it's just so pretty and it smells so nice. I don't even know how to explain it but it's just like what I want to smell like. I remember when I lived with my best friend McKaylee, we were like such fans of the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume. We just loved it. And so anytime I think of this perfume, I think of that time in my life and it was really fun. And it's just like a perfect perfume. I wish I could explain it, but I have no idea. I have one Glossier Bomb.com, which is crazy that I just have one, but I've kind of had some scattered around all over. So I feel like I'm not using them up as fast. But this is the GlossierBalm.com in the original scent, which I haven't repurchased because I love the mint. That one's my favorite. So this one's nice. I love Glossier's Balm.com. If you've watched my favorites or makeup routine, skincare, whatever it is, I love and rave about Glossier's Balm.com. It's just the best chapstick. I love it. I just can't, I can't even tell you. I have two tubes of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, this is such a great drugstore concealer. I love it so much, but I have to say my favorite is the e.l.f. camo concealer So I purchased that one way more my camera just decided to shut off um, But Maybelline is a really great one to opt for as well speaking of the e.l.f. camo concealer. I have one tube of it. I love it. This is my favorite concealer that I use currently. It's just really, really nice. It's a perfect dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Very thick, very, a little goes a long way, I will say with this, um, but it's perfect. I love it. It's a great price point and it covers up everything I need it to and it just looks really nice on my skin. Two foundations I have. I have the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Matte foundation. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. Um, this is great. I love Fenty. I really wish I tried more from them. So I think that's going to be a goal for me next year. I would love to just try a little bit more. I don't know. You'd ha you'll have to tell me if you have a favorite Fenty product down below. Um, I remember this being great. I don't know why I didn't re repurchase it, but foundation is something that 
I don't know if I haven't found my dream one yet or just like trying new ones, but I haven't repurchased this just yet, but I did really like it when I had it. So there's that. Um, this was a favorite of mine a few months ago, I think. And this is the Revlon Candid Natural Finish Foundation. I love having a good like higher end foundation and I love finding a good drugstore one. This one is, was one I had randomly and just started using when I didn't repurchase one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> did that sentence make sense? I feel like I've been talking for so long, I can't remember. Um, so anyway, I just used it on a whim basically wasn't I thought it was just gonna get me through one day until I bought a foundation but I actually ended up loving this loving the coverage that it gave me very nice and natural really pretty um, so I remember really loving that I have two little glam glow samples the little masks this first one is the super mud clarifying treatment mask I absolutely love this my sister gave me a pack of like all these different kinds of glam glow masks and I tried a lot of them and these were my two favorites so this one was really nice for when my skin is just having a bad time and needs a little bit of um, clearing up I really loved this one and then this one is the um, gravity mud firming treatment so I love this I think I like it because it's like that fun silver that you see everyone having and it's like a peel off one um, I don't know if it like firms up but I don't know it, it's really nice and I love it it's kind of like a luxury product whereas the other one is like you need to get to work product <laughs> this has to be a first time ever but I finally have a little lipstick I never have lipsticks in my empties because it's like who finishes a lipstick this one is worth finishing and repurchasing I already have repurchased it and this is the Ulta Beauty barely there cream lipstick my favorite lipstick of all Time. I love it so much. It's not what I'm wearing today. Is it what I'm wearing today? No, but um, it's just the perfect one. I wear it all the time, if not every single day. And when I don't have it with me upstairs in my makeup thing, it makes me very nervous, but um, I just love it. It's a great natural everyday kind of nude and feels really nice on my skin. I just think it pairs really nicely on top of lip liners. Like it just blends so beautifully and very buttery, creamy. I just love this lipstick so much. Okay, we are almost done. I promise, I promise. Last couple of things, I always talk about these. I always go through so many of the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim pencils. These are my favorite. I get the medium brown. It's what I have on my eyebrows today. I just absolutely love them. And then a huge favorite of mine is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This is a perfect drugstore mascara. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites of all time. And last little thing, this is a Briogeo Scalp Revival. This is a charcoal and coconut oil exfoliating shampoo. And this is a cute little sample that I got um, at Sephora. And I've never used like a clarifying or exfoliating shampoo, but honestly, it's the best feeling ever. I have a little tool now from um, Amazon that I use to like scrub my head, which I think kind of replaced the, the sort of um, one-off shampoos, but it's really nice. It's nice to kind of get in there, get all the gunk out. I wear a lot of like dry shampoo <laughs> and it's nice to be able to like scrub your scalp a little bit. So I really enjoyed it, um, but I love the tool that I got instead. And I'll leave that down below because it's like a couple bucks and it just like massages and scrubs your scalp and it's the best thing ever. Whew. Holy smokes, so we finished up. That is all of my empties for this winter 2020. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and going through some of my past products that I've used, things that I've loved, things that I won't repurchase, um, all of that. It's really fun to kind of see my themes in my life and what I gravitate to and what I stay away from. It's just really funny. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys right back here tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye.